Good day. Today we will talk about insurance. So what is insurance? Insurance is essentially an indemnity or protection against loss. It is a promise made by an insurer, the insurance company, to provide the funds needed to cover future loss of loved ones due to a rightful death or loss of properties due to accidents and calamities in return for a promise made by the insured or the policyholder to pay a premium. So insurance is a service purchased to gain from loss. Basically, you'll pay for a benefit or face amount at a certain time signed. Uh, yung insurance is covered din siya ng law. So the insurer required by law to hold sufficient assets and the financial means to cover all the insured losses. So ano yung cover dun sa contract ninyo, kunyari sinabi doon na yung buhay mo, so yun yung babayaran ng insurance company. And then, the insured also is covered by law, so you must pay the premium stipulated by the terms and conditions of the policy to be eligible for compensation in the event of the loss. So, hindi ka pwede mag-demand na kailangan may makuha kang pera kung wala ka namang binayaran. That is said by the law. Life insurance or life assurance is a contract between the policy owner and the insurer, where the insurer agrees to pay a sum of money called benefit or face amount upon the occurrence of insured individuals or individuals' death or other events such as terminal illness or critical illness. So other than uh, the personal life, or yung personal life insurance natin, most of people think of their houses. Kasi kung healthy ka naman, bakit yung buhay mo yung uunahin mo yung insured. So you'll think about your houses kasi baka masunog. Your vehicles, your health, kasi baka pumalia yung kalusugan mo. The travel, and important items to cover in buying the pre-need plans such as fire insurance, car insurance, health and travel insurance respectively. The policy date or date of issue is the date upon which an insurance contract is made and the successive years after this date are the cold policy years. So, not dwell into that. Next, there are four types of insurance. Number one is whole life insurance. Whole life insurance is the life insurance that remains in force until the policy matures unless the owner fails to pay the premium when due. So, yung whole life insurance is yung sa buhay mo. Yun yung example. So, kailangan, yung cover nito is yung buhay, yung span ng buhay mo. Kung kailan ka nagsimula na mag-sign ng contract ng insurance mo. So, if you live long, mas malaki yung babayaran mo. If you live 70, till 70 years old or 100 years old, hindi naman makatarungan yung 100 years old. So, let's say, 70 to 75 years old, mas malaki yung mababayanan mo doon sa insurance company mo. And, you'll get that after mong mamatay. Yung makakakuha nun is yung mga... Nandito pa sa mundong ibabaw. Next, we have two common types of whole life insurance. We have ordinal life insurance. So, ordinary life insurance, the policy owners pays a net single premium the day the policy is signed or pays in an annual premium for a entire life. Yung ordinary life insurance, yun yung buong buhay mo talaga magbabayad ka annually. So, if you start by the age of 30 till 70, well, that's fun annually magbabayad ka na life insurance mo, kung ilan yung babayaran mong premium. Next one is the limited life insurance. It includes all the premiums paid over a specified period after with no additional premiums are due to keep the policy in force. Yung limited life insurance naman, yun yung wala nang iba pang additional premiums. So yung buhay mo lang talaga, wala nang wala nang sasakyan, yun know. Next, we have temporary or term life insurance. A temporary is generally considered pure insurance where the premium buys protection in the event of death within the policy term and nothing else. So, ito yung magbabayad ka ng life insurance mo 
but you'll gain money within the certain time period. So, kung nagbayad ka ng insurance ngayon, let's say, for example, nagbayad ka ng insurance ngayon, mamamatay ka, makukuha, makakakuha ka ng pera. Pero kung hindi ka naman mamamatay, this instant na nagbabayad ka, wala kang makukuha ng pera. Next is the endowments, or policies in which the cash value built up inside the policy equals to the death benefit at a certain period. Endowment period provides for a payment of an amount to the beneficiaries in the event of the death of the insured within a certain period. Provides the same amount to the policy owner at the end of the endowment period provided that the insured is then alive. So, yung endowment is from 30 to 40, nagbayad ka ng insurance. Yun yung uh, contract nyo ng insurance company. Magbabayad ka ng premium mo from 30 to 40 years old. Kung namatay ka ng 35, may makukuha ka ng pera from that na nagbayad ka doon sa company. Pero kung mamamatay ka after that 10 years doon sa contract na nasabi ninyo, so the money will be given to the, uh, will be taken pala by the company or the insurance company. Kasi yung nasa contract ninyo is within 10 years. Dapat within that 10 years, mamamatay ka na. Kung hindi ka mamamatay, yung pera mo mapupunta sa company. So, mas ma, uh, maganda to sa mga ano, may mga karamdaman, may mga cancer, ganun. Deferred life insurance can be whole life or temporary, but the benefits are pay, paid out only if the insured person dies after the period of deferment. So, yung deferred life insurance naman, iba siya dun sa endowment. Kabaliktaran. Kunyari, magbabayad ka from 30, nag-start ka from 30 years old till 40 years till 40 years old. So, kailangan mamamatay ka na dun na pagkatapos mong magbayad ng insurance company. I think ano, mas Nagagamit siya. I don't know if SSS, ganun, mga GSIS. Ay, hindi pala. Mga <laughs> government, ano pala yun. So, ito yung makukuha mo, yung pera after mong mamatay doon sa 10 years. Pero kung mamamatay ka doon within that time, hindi naman siya makukuha. So, parang whole life insurance lang siya. Magbabayad ka kung aabot ka ng 70 years old, dun mo pa makukuha yung pera mo kung mamamatay ka na. Kung hindi, wala ka rin makukuha. So, there are, uh, there is a uh, principle to be considered sa pagbabayad ng insurance. So, this is called principle of mutuality. The business of insuring people against any variety of losses in a sound on basis only if the large amount of individuals are insured under one organization or insurance company so that individual losses may be distributed over the whole group according to some specific principle of mutuality. So, ito yung sinasabi niya, nakakover ka nito kung isang company lang yung, uh, or isang organiza insurance organization lang yung pinaghulugan mo. Diba, pwede ka namang maghulog, maghulog sa ibang insurance company, but if you only have, uh, you're loyal to that one organization, so you will be covered. The net premiums of the policy benefits under the following assumptions. So, ito yung dapat nating tandaan, letter A. And mortality experience among policyholders will be exactly as given by the CSO table. So, next, pa next pages ng uh, ano na ito, document, you'll see the CSO table. Letter B, all money will be invested at an assumed rate. Letter C, the benefits under the policy will be paid at the ends of the policy years in which they fail due. So the net level premiums are whenever the net premiums are assumed to be the same for all policy years and the net single premium is when a policy provides for the payment of all premium obligations excuse me, of the insured in one installment is equivalent to the present value of all benefits under the assumptions above. Yung tatlong nasa itaas. This is payable immediately on the policy date. 
So, this is the, I uh, don't mind this one, yung AX equals R. Uh, yung picture na naka-attach and yung titignan, okay? This is the simplified formula for the net single premium for the whole life insurance of 1 peso benefit. May nakalagay naman sa title. So, A sub X equals R multiplied by MX over TX. Next, we have an example. Number one, five, find the net single premium AX for the whole life insurance worth 1 million in the life of the person of age 20, 40, and 80. So, baka nahihiwagaan kayo paano nakuha yung MX, MD na nagiging M20, M at D20 kasi yung X that will be substituted by the age. So, yun, di ba? May 4H, X equals 20. Meron dito. 4H, X equals 20. So, yun yung ilalagay dito. Diyan siya. Dito. Yan yung ilalagay dyan. So, 4H, X equals 20. A20 equals... 1 million multiplied by M sub 20 over D sub 20 equals 1 million multiplied by these numbers. Yung mga number na yan, makikita yan dyan dun sa CSO table for the next pages. Makikita mo. Please refer to the document attached. You will have this amount as the answer. So, with the other I know, examples. So, if you have x equals 40, refer ka ulit doon sa m sub x and d sub x doon sa table. Dito naman, how much whole life insurance can be purchased by a man of age x who can afford to pay net single premium of 50,000 if x is 20, 40, and 80. So, solutions. Kung kanina A equals A sub X equals R. Ngayon naman kasi nabaliktad siya, ba? Kanina 1 million yun. Ngayon 50,000 na lang. Yun babayaran. Yung babayaran niya. Gradually. Yung una is yung nabayaran niya na. So, we have R equals A sub X multiplied by D sub X over M sub X. So, given that A sub X equals 50,000 pesos, for age 20, R equals 50,000 times D sub 20 and over M sub 20 equals 50,000. Ito siya, nakuha to siya pag i-divide mo ito. Yung D sub x over m sub x. So, makukuha mo yan. Please refer again doon sa document attach. So, you'll have this amount. So, with the other examples. So, if you are planning to be insured, I have here the top 5 performing insurance company in the Philippines. Number one is Sun Life of Canada, based in the Philippines. And number two, Philippine EXA Life Insurance Corp. Number three, Pro Life Insurance Corp of UK, based also in the Philippines. Number four, Philippine Armorland Life and Chan Inns Co. Number five, BPI Feel and Life Assurance Corp Inns. So if you're looking for banks, who has uh, considered as the top performing insurance bank of the Philippines. So we have here insure, um, BPI and BDO included in the top 10 performing. And then, kung naghahanap naman kayo ng remittance center, like we also have Palawan Express para padala. They have a timely insurance. So good day everyone. My name is Jerry Makasindil, a 21 years old from Masio, Rana del Sur. 
currently a uh, third year college and taking a Bachelor of Secondary Education majoring in Mathematics. So for today, the uh, topic is about insurance. So the, uh, the topic or subtopic that given to me is first is the net single premium for a whole life insurance. Next is the net single premium for an annual term insurance. And next is net single premium for an annual endowment insurance. So first is a net single premium for a whole life insurance. So before I start the discussion, the topic is already discussed by Ms. Lerio in the first first uh, video and I'm here only to just to to give the formula and how to calculate the given topic. So single premium for whole life or SPL is a kind of la life insurance in which a large sum of cash is paid into the insurance policy in exchange for a death benefit that is fully guaranteed for to remain paid until you die. So the formula the simplified formula of net single premium for whole life insurance is A of X is equal to M sub X divided by D of D sub X. So the net single premium for whole life insurance of R is A, A of X equal to R multiplied by M sub X divided by D sub X. For example, find the NSP of A of X for a whole life insurance worth of 1 million, 1 million pesos on the life of a person of age 20, 40, and 80. So first is uh, let R uh, let R is equal to one million pesos. So first is let us find the age of twenty, which is the x is equal to twenty. So the formula that we will use is uh, a of x is equal to R multiplied by m of x divided by d of x. So one one million pesos. Uh, times m sub 20 divided by d sub 20 so 1 million pesos times 1 million three hundred twenty one thousand and eight hundred seventy point six hundred thirty six centavos divided by five million three hundred fifty one thousand and two hundred seventy two thousand two hundred seventy thousand point eight centavos so how we how do we find the m sub 20 divided by so how do we find m sub 20 and d sub 20 so i forgot to include the table here in my report which is the cso which is stands for commissioner of 1958 of standard ordinary so in that table in uh, nandoon yung mga 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 derived ng ano ng m sub 20 d, d sub 20 so i will just include it in my uh, summary uh, lecture note so the 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 answer of the age of 20 is 247 and 19 points 86 centavos so example number 2 for age uh, 40 is ganun pa rin, ganun pa din yung 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 step ko paano makuha yung sagot so uh, 1 million divided uh, 1 million times m sub 40 divided by d sub 40 so 1 million so ang given na uh, m ang ang given sa sub uh, sa m sub 40 is 1 million and 151,855.778 centavos divided by yung D is 2,833,001.8 centavos So ang sagot doon is 406,584.91 centavos So for age uh, 80 is ganun pa din So ang uh, ang ang ano nang M sub 80 is 200,188.591 centavos. Then ang D sub 80 is 246,818.8 centavos. So ang sagot is 
835,303.43 centavos. So next is the net single premium for an annual term insurance. The net single premium for one year term insurance of our best benefit also called our natural premium or NP. The formula is the simplified formula of net single premium for an N year term insurance is A of X colon N is equal to M sub X minus M sub X plus N divided by D of X. The net single premium for one year term insurance or R pesos benefit also called natural premium NP is A of X colon N is equal to R multiplied by m sub x minus m sub x plus n minus c of x divided by d of x. For example, find the, find the, net, find the net single premium of a of x worth of 1 million in the life of a person of age 40. So let uh, r is equal to 1 million pesos. So first is for n n is equal to 10 so 1 million times m sub 40 minus m sub 50 divided by d sub 40 so bakit siya naging uh, m, m sub 50 kasi diba ang given is ang formula is uh, m, m sub x is equal to mx plus n so ang x natin is uh, 40 din ang n, n natin is 10. So, pag plus lang siya, magiging 50. So, 1,000. So, pag nakuha natin yung m sub 40 minus m sub 50 diba, divided by d sub 40, ang makukuha natin is 0 0.00807186. So, ang sagot is 8 uh, 8,071.86 centavos. So next is for let's solve for the n uh, is equal to 25. So ganun pa din yung yung step kung paano solve ang n. So 1 million times m sub 40 minus m uh, m uh, sub 65 divided by d sub 40. Basta naging 65 kasi 40 plus 25 is equal to 65. So pag nakuha natin yung m sub 40 minus m sub 65 divided by d sub 40 is equal to 0 0.1641737833 so ang sagot plus multiply so 1 million is equal to 164,173.78 centavos so example to how much is the insurance benefit of 10 years and 25 years term insurance on the life of a person age 40 if he's if he is willing to pay a lump sum premium of 50,000 so solution given that a sub 40 colon 25 is equal to 50,000 from uh, a sub x colon n is equal to r uh, multiplied by m sub x minus m sub x plus n divided by d of x d sub x so we derive the formula from r is equal to a sub x colon n multiplied by d sub x is equal to m, e, m sub x minus m x m sub x plus m so first is let us uh, let uh, n is equal to 10, ten years uh, term so r is equal to ang a sub x colon n natin is 50,000 divided by d sub 40 and m D sub 40 divided by M sub 40 minus uh, M sub 50. So, sa dun sa table natin malalaman kung ano yung derive, derive ng D sub, te, D sub 60 and divided by M sub 40 minus M sub 50. So, pag nakakawa na natin, ang mga kakawa natin sagot is 100, uh, 123 pesos and 88 something centavos. So, ang magiging sagot natin for the uh, 10 years term is 6, uh, 6,194,359.15 centavos. So, next, next is for 25 years term. So, 
R is equal to 50,000 uh, multiplied by D sub, D, sub six, D sub 40 divided by M sub 40 minus M sub 65. So, doon pa sa table natin na hindi ko na-include sa uh, report ko, which I will include that in my summary lecture note. So, doon makita natin kung paano siya makukuha. So, fifth, uh, is equal to 50,000 uh, times 6.09111652. Uh, so, ang makukuha natin sagot is 304,554.33 centavos. So, next is the net single premium for an annual endowment insurance. Net single premium for an annual endowment insurance for paying a unit benefit at the end of the year of debt or at the end of the end years, which, whichever comes first to someone who is now aged. The formula of the endowment insurance of R pesos benefit is A sub X colon N is equal to R R multiplied by F, M sub X M sub X minus M sub X plus N plus D sub X plus N divided by D uh, sub X. So for example, find the NSP of A of X uh, colon of N for 10 years and 25 years in down insurance with the, with the 1 million pesos on the life of a person age 40. So let R, so the solution is let R is equal to 1 million. So for N, is equal to 10 sub uh, 10 sub uh, so 1 1 million times m sub 40 minus m sub 50 plus uh, d sub 50 divided by d, d sub 40 so pag pinag-ano natin yung pag uh, pag nakuha natin yung sagot doon is 0 0.74889 1721 then multiply to 1 million is equal to 748,891.72 centavos so for n is equal to 25 a sub 40 colon 25 so 1 million times uh, m sub 40 minus m sub 65 plus d sub 65 divided by d sub 40 is equal to 0 0.515 634131 multiplied by 1 million then the answer is 515,634.13 centavos so that's all i hope you learned something from me Assign group members of the Chapter 7 Insurance. And my part for this for this topic is the net annual premiums. So policies commonly used by pain insurance companies are allowing payment for premium and equal annual, semi-annual, quarterly, or even monthly installments for easy and lifer payment. This book provides formula and computations for annual premiums only. So, what I mean this is our book, yung book na ginagamit natin. Annual premiums are payable at the beginning of each policy year of the insured individual. Hence, it involves life annuity dues. The annual premium payments began at age X and must continue either throughout the entire life for a whole life insurance or within a specified number of years and or m this is less than or equal to n for a limited pay life insurance and, and this is the table for formula for net annual premiums of r pesos insurance benefit for life insurance for ordinary life for limited pay life and we have temporary insurance for end term and year term one year term in the endowment insurance and year to pay and we have also deferred insurance and year term are years term m years to pay m to less than or equal to n ordinary life are years referred 
differed by entire life and n year endowment r years differed m years to pay so these are the formulas for the net annual premium so let us proceed here is the example number one find the net annual premium for a 15 annual payment life policy for 1 million pesos issued at age 20, 40, and 80. So, given that R is equals to 1 million pesos and using this formula for limited pay life, we have M is equals to 15 annual payments and age is, age is X, which is 20. So, this 15 T20 is equals to 1 million multiplied by M20 over N20 minus N35 is equals to 1 million multiplied by 0 0.02033955. And when we multiply this one, we have 20,339.55 pesos for the net annual premium. Same for letter B, M is equals to 15 man annual payments and age is X, which is 40. We have this 15P40 is equals to 1 million. M40 over N40 minus N35 is equals to 1, mil 1 million multiplied by this is 0 0.03419271 then we have our net annual premium 34192.71 pesos and for the letter c for the at age 80 m is equals to 15 annual payments and age is x which is 80 we have this then we can total the total is the net annual premium is 149 1,122.43 pesos. Another example. Finding the net annual premium for a 25 and 40 annual payment life. Policy for 1 million pesos issued at age 20. So given that R is equals to 1 million. And using the formula for a limited pay life insurance. So we have this. M is equals to 25 annual payments and age x which is 20 so 25 p20 is equals to 1 million m20 over n20 minus n45 is equals to 1 million multiplied by 0 0.01407928 and equal to 14072.28 pesos same as for at the age 40. Next example, number three. How much whole life insurance can be purchased by a man of age X who can afford to pay net annual premiums of 50,000 for 15 years if X is 20, 40, and 80? Given that this formula P of X equals to R, M, x over n x minus n x plus n or 2 r is equals to p of x n x minus n x plus n over m x at the age of 20 we have r is equals to 50,000 n 20 minus n 35 over m 20 is equals to 50,000 multiplied by 49.16529608 and this equals to two million four hundred fifty eight thousand two hundred sixty two point eighty pesos. And same with calculating the whole life ins whole life insurance for at the age forty and age eighty at, at the age eighty. Example number four to find the net premium. P of X. Find the net annual premium P of X for an ordinary whole life insurance worth 1 million pesos on the life of a person of age 20 and 40. So 
we let r is equals to 1 million passes. For h20, p20 is equals to 1 million passes, m20 over n20 is equals to 9555.4 passes. And for at, at the age of 40, p40 is equals to 1 million passes, m40 over n40 is equals to 19,956.15 pesos. Number five, for a man age 20, find the net annual premium for a 1 million pesos endowment insurance policy which matures at age 40. <coughs> we let that R is equals 1 million pesos. So this is the formula we use to get the net annual premium for 1 million pesos endowment insurance. Choosing the most appropriate insurance. One way to provide peace of mind for oneself and security for the family is, being, is by purchasing life insurance policy. Life is full of unexpected twists and turns, some good and some bad. Life insurance coverage offers financial protection for the family in the worst case scenario. There are several options when it comes to taking out life insurance coverage and it is important to assess the needs of the family and the financial capacity of the policyholder to sustain the premiums before committing to a policy. Most insurers offers a range of plans to suit all sorts of needs and budgets. And because the insured can pay premiums on a, on a yearly, quarterly, or even monthly basis and will not have to take a huge hit to his finances in order to benefit from this type of coverage. So there are several tips to lower insurance costs and save money. First, number one, first give multiple quotes from different insurance agents for com or companies. Competition in the mar marketplace means that companies are in competition for your money. So you and use that com this competition to your advantage. Number two, combine insurance to meet two or more insurance needs. This will reduce the premium rates and check also for discounts. Number three, make annual payments in full of possible. It reduces administrative costs. Check also if online payments can help to avoid processing fees. Number four, do not carry double coverage. Insurance on the fire insurance is not needed if it's already covered on the house mortgage policy. Number five, if the insured has little debts and adequate resources in place with no de dependents, then perhaps life insurance policy can be reduced or eliminated.